folks, China just declared its complete independence from Western technology tyranny. DeepSeek just dropped a bombshell on August 21st that sent Chinese chip stocks soaring, while American tech giants watched in absolute panic mode as their monopoly crumbled before their eyes. Here are the verified facts that Wall Street doesn't want you to know. Chinese technology stocks on the mainland jumped over 8%. Combricon Technologies, China's AI chip leader, rocketed 20% in a single day. The Hang Seng AI index surged over 5%, while semiconductor indices gained more than 11%. Meanwhile, NVIDIA had already lost over $600 billion in market value this year, thanks to DeepSeek's earlier R1 release. And now, they're watching their empire collapse even faster. So, what exactly is this UE8M0 FP8 technology that has Silicon Valley executives losing sleep? FP8 stands for floating point 8-bit. And here's why it's absolutely revolutionary. First, it cuts memory usage by up to 75% compared to traditional 16-bit precision. That means you can run the same AI model with four times less hardware. Second, it delivers up to 2x faster computational throughput while maintaining model accuracy. Your AI literally thinks twice as fast. Third, it reduces training costs by up to 75%. What used to cost millions now costs hundreds of thousands. But here's the game changer. While NVIDIA's H100 chips support FP8, they've been deliberately restricting this technology from Chinese companies through export controls. DeepSeek just said, fine, we'll build our own chips that do FP8 better than yours. The timing is absolutely savage. Just as NVIDIA stopped selling their H20 chips to China and tried to push their deliberately downgraded B20 chips instead, chips that are intentionally slowed down for Chinese customers, DeepSeek dropped this technological nuclear bomb. Let's put this in perspective. Just five years ago, Chinese companies were completely dependent on Western chips. Every breakthrough required permission from American corporations. Every advance was subject to Washington's approval. Then came DeepSeek R1 in January 2025, and it sent shockwaves through global markets. NVIDIA lost 17% of its value in one day. Microsoft, Google, Meta. They all watched billions evaporate as investors realized, wait, if China can build AI this good for this cheap, what do we need these American companies for? This isn't just about better chips or faster AI. This is about technological sovereignty. FP8 represents the foundational technology for next-generation AI computing. Whoever controls FP8 optimization controls the future of artificial intelligence. And China just announced they're not just participating in this race, they're leading it. When Chinese-designed chips running Chinese-optimized FP8 algorithms power the world's most advanced AI systems, it won't just be about having better technology. China will control the digital infrastructure that runs the global economy. The Western tech monopoly lasted exactly 75 years, from the invention of the transistor in 1947 to DeepSeek's FP8 breakthrough in 2025. We are witnessing the end of American technological hegemony and the beginning of the Chinese century in computing. This is what happens when you underestimate a civilization that invented gunpowder, paper, and the compass. Now they've invented the future itself.